just making the most of the day, you know? A little bluebird day out here for the kids. It's beautiful. Normally come to these places like sunrise, sunset, but honestly, there's just something about a bluebird day in the mountains that makes me feel good. It's the endorphins pumping. We're getting down and greasy. I'm just lying down, because lower down I get, the better reflection I get. And it looks pretty saucy. What's up friends? Welcome back to Peak Perspective. Today, we're gonna to focus on the last pillar, which is community. We're out on the chaw sticks. I'm here with the boys. We've got Chris and Jacob. And we are talking about the, the drive out here, just how important surrounding yourself is with good people. So we're out here doing our thing, hanging out. It's all about the community, hanging with your friends. Let's get it. How to ski moguls. <laughs> Keep your hands in front of you, stay limber. That's easy. <laughs> Focus on your pole plants. I don't know what a pole plant is. Choose an easy line. That's why I'm Googling it. One of the most important things, in my opinion, for my own mental health is community. Community is about connection. It's about being a part of something that's larger than ourselves and feeling a sense of connection. So how do you build community? It starts with finding like-minded people and creating opportunities for connection. Honestly, it can be as simple as going on Google and just searching photography meetups in my area or whatever it is that you're into. Community means to me being there for your friends and having friends that can be there for you at the same time. When I'm feeling low, I know that I have friends that will get me outside and get me doing the things that I love. And when they're feeling low, I can pour into them. When we're all riding the high together, we can ride the wave, which is the best feeling. That's it for season one of Peak Perspective. I hope you enjoy watching. Thanks so much for coming along and we'll see you next time. Alberta Blue Cross asked me to share how I live my best life. How do you live yours?